every kid has to be treated as a normal kid and he has a right to have a family, place called home. In my religion, I have required, required me to help those kids who has nobody. If I can help them, I must help them. This is a story of a good man on a heartbreaking mission. Meet Mohammed Bizik and his endless heart. I came to United States 1978 as a student. I'm originally from Libya. And the kids born like this is, was his choice. It's his family choice. And when he born and with the uh, terminal illness, they abandoned him, they leave him, they don't want him. Especially those kids who's, I mean, suffering from the minute they're born. I mean, there is nobody hold them, hug them, tell them he loves them, uh, tell them I'm with you all the rest of your life. I will be with you until the end. I had this experience when 2016, my wife died. I had uh, a cancer and was alone. My son, he's handicapped, he can do nothing. I was in their shoes. I was, I felt what they felt, those kids. I was, I went to the doctor alone. I went to the operation by myself. So this, this experience make me feel more, make me feel do more for these kids because I felt what they, what they feeling, those kids would, that has no family and no, Nobody cares about them. Mohammed is a foster father who has looked after 80 terminally ill children over the past 30 years. Of the 35,000 children monitored by the country's Department of Children and Family Services, there are about 600 children at any given time who fall under the care of the department's medical case management services. There is a critical need for foster parents to care for such children. And in this huge metropolitan area of Los Angeles, the only person willing to care for terminally ill children is Bazik. Let's go. Let's get ready. His story gained significant media attention, and he became a local hero in Los Angeles. I have many kids. I have about 80 kids come to my house. 10 of them, they died, because most of them, they are terminal kids. Mostly I have kids, they are mostly orphans, orphan kids, or kids they don't, their parents, they don't want them. They leave them in the hospital. I will leave them in the facility because their parents, they don't want to deal with them. When I met my wife, she was already foster parents because she used to live with her grandparents and her grandparents, they were foster family. So when I met fam my wife, she was already, she has uh, three kids. So how, how does how it start? Is it stressful? Sometimes, but uh, somebody has to do the job. Somebody has to do something, you know? Does she sometimes worry you? Does she sometimes worry you? Sometimes, but I mean, I've been doing for a long time, so I got used to that, you know? Mohammed is a practicing Muslim. He is particularly upset by the increasing anti-Muslim prejudice in the USA. You like the lights? Huh? That's why he says that his most important goal is to show people the real Islam by living it. And much of his dedication derives from his faith. Allahu Akbar. In the American society, they have the wrong idea about Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Because all the time, they think Muslim is troublemakers. They are not. When my story came out in uh, 2017, a lot of uh, American told me they they changed their idea about Muslim. They don't believe there's a Muslim, an Arab Muslim doing this job. Not even American can do that. Uh, a lot of people really uh, start getting good idea about Muslim because see Hollywood makes so many movies 
against Muslim and Arab. And all the movie, it's always they're talking bad about Muslim and Islam, especially an Arab Muslim. My story, Alhamdulillah, yani I, they change a lot of people, their idea about Muslim and Arab, and uh, we are we are Muslim, we are very, uh, our religion is very compassionate and lovely, love religi religion of love and helping others as long we respect each other. We can live as one community in harmony without any all this problem or discrimination. TRT World made a documentary about Bazik in 2018 called Guardian of Angels. The documentary, directed by Ensar Altai, received numerous awards and nominations at film festivals. Thanks to the strong bond of friendship established between the TRT team and Bazik, he recently came to Istanbul. And while he was in Istanbul, he offered TRT World a nice surprise visit to the office. I uh, appreciate uh, the people here in uh, Turkey and uh, Alhamdulillah, I feel I like home. The Turkey, I mean, the, the first country make documentary movie about me and they send the team for 50 days to do this the documentary movies called Guardian of Angels. And I um, really uh, appreciate what the, this country did for me and for uh, my story. Mohammed is an exceptional foster parent. Thanks to his endless care and support, his foster children spent their final years surrounded by lots of love. Mohamed Bizik is now a hero, not only for the people of Los Angeles, but also for many people living in different parts of the world. So what constitutes a hero in modern society? Do you think all heroes wear capes? Thank you.